Hey church family, what's up? It's Pastor Hassan. It's uh, Friday morning and here's our word for the day. And so in keeping with the theme that we started looking at on last week's Sunday, we're going to talk this morning about persevering, um, continuing in the faith, keep going. Like that's the idea. That's what we want to encourage one another to do. That's what we see the pages of scripture encouraging us to do by God's grace. And so um, as we look to the word this morning, I want us to think on this simple thought that we are not alone. Um, we're, we're in this together. We not only have the Holy Spirit um, indwelling us, we are a community that is to labor to maintain the unity of the Spirit and the bond of peace. Um, but Jesus himself promised to be with us even into the end of the age. And of course, uh, our Heavenly Father uh, will never leave us or forsake us. And so we, we have all of these um, glorious realities at our disposal. Um, the triune God himself is, is with us. But we don't want to neglect the fact that one of the things that God has left with us um, to for the purpose of us persevering in the faith is one another. And so along those lines, I want to just mention briefly from um, the book of Hebrews a, a couple of things. So notice what God's word says in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23 and, and 24. It says, let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works. And so notice in the middle of this encouragement, this exhortation that the writer of Hebrews gives to these believers, as he says, let us um, hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering. It's There's no delusion in his mind that these believers are to do that individually. Let let us not just oh I'm talking to a group of people, so let me use this this um, plural word. But he's there's this built-in understanding that in order for believers to persevere and hold fast to the confession of their hope without wavering, we need one another. Um, we need to be locked in on this truth that he who promised, the one that we're hoping in, is faithful. Um, like that's ultimately what enables us to persevere. But we also persevere as we are laboring alongside one another. And he says in the very next verse, let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works. And so in the midst of the the difficulties and the, the trials that we experience, we need each other to help each other stay the course and not, not grow weary and well-doing like Paul talks about. And so, brothers and sisters, I want us to, we're going to think on Sunday about how we are surrounded by a, a great cloud of witnesses, brothers and sisters who have gone on before us and who have lived their lives from start to finish, or at least from the point that, that God um, uh, came into their lives and uh, saved them. From that point to, to the very end, they lived by faith and that that's what we're called to do. And so we have countless examples uh, from biblical history from more more recent history of brothers and sisters who have labored in the faith and and faithfully um, persevered and kept their eyes fixed on jesus but we also want to bear in mind that right around us in our own church community we are to serve as as examples of perseverance to one another and so and and the way that's going to look might be okay so i'm i'm struggling and uh in need of some encouragement and maybe at the moment not the best uh, example of perseverance and i can look to a brother or sister who's struggling as, as well and yet they're clinging to christ and and draw encouragement from that and be be challenged by that and spurred on by that and then next time around when somebody else is 
is maybe not doing so hot in the area of persevering and, and I'm by God's grace doing a little bit better, um, I, I can serve as an example to them. And so we, we want to, um, in, in this race that we're running, not forget that we are not alone. We've got the triune God with us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit holding us down and, and enabling us to run. We've got the, the witnesses from um, biblical history and um, even more recent history, and we have one another. And so brothers and sisters, let's rejoice in what God has provided for us as a means of enabling us to run this race and um, let us keep our eyes fixed on the Lord Jesus Christ, the one who for the joy set before him um, endured a cross, despising its shame, and is now seated at the right hand of God where he rules all things for, for the sake of his church. And so brothers and sisters, be encouraged today. Find someone, um, a brother or sister that you can be an encouragement to, and uh, let's continue to serve and, and support one another, love each other well, um, for the glory of God and I just want to encourage you on that note to be praying for Chris uh, Chris Jong as he's going to be preaching bringing us the word on Sunday pray that it would be encouraging for Chris and, and Janelle and their family and encouraging for our church family as well and so God bless y'all and I uh, hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you later all right take care God bless